Hey everyone, Greg here, and today we're going to share with you some pro tips for using your iNetra autorefractor. The iNetra autorefractor comes with a built-in tutorial. The device is very simple to operate. However, it is very important that the patient has a clear understanding of the device controls in order to achieve the best results. We recommend running your patients through the tutorial each time in order to give them a visual simulation of what they will be looking for before going inside the device. Be sure to demonstrate proper grip and posture. The device should sit in the palms with the thumbs pointing upward, and the patient should be seated comfortably with his or her elbows propped up on a table for stability and support. Patients should be supervised during the test, and it is a good idea to verbally guide them through the first few repetitions until they appear confident. Now let's briefly review the device controls. Patients using the Netra Autorefractor will repeat three simple steps in order to arrive at a measurement. First, they will turn the right knob until they find the red and green umbrella-like shapes so that they are equally visible. Next, use the left knob to align the stems or the handles of the umbrellas until they align and overlap. When they are aligned, click the selection button. After each click, the lines will rotate for the next measurement. Patients will repeat these same simple steps, find, align, and confirm until they see a blue check mark. The first time you open up your iNetra applications, you will see this screen asking you to sign up for an iNetra account. You can do this very quickly and very easily by providing any valid email address as your username and then creating a password of your choosing and clicking sign up. Please note for this initial sign in process you will need Wi-Fi, however Wi-Fi is not required to use a device to screen your patients. If you have forgotten your iNetra password, you can reset it quickly and easily by clicking the Forgot My Password link on the sign-in screen. You can also reset your password from any connected device by visiting insight.inetra.com and clicking the Forgot My Password link. Both the Netra Autorefractor and the Netrometer Lensometer applications come in a variety of different language settings. If you'd like to change the language, you can simply open up either one of the apps Select the drop-down menu in the upper left-hand corner. Select App Settings. And then right here, you have a variety of different language settings to choose from. You can also do the same thing in the Netra Autorefractor by selecting Tutorial, and then selecting the language icon in the upper right-hand corner. And again, you'll have a variety of different language options to choose from. While inside the Netra Autorefractor, you may notice that the lines appear blurrier or fuzzier than they did on the phone screen during the tutorial. Again, this is intentional. We are fogging the patient on purpose with an effort to mitigate patient accommodation while inside the device. Patients inside the Netra Autorefractor may notice that it is not necessary to adjust the right knob on every repetition. If they can clearly see the red and green umbrella shapes, they can simply align with the left and click to confirm. If, however, at any point during the test they lose the red and green umbrella shapes, you can direct them to turn the right knob again until they bring the red and green shapes back into the center of their vision. If your patients are having trouble locating the red and green umbrella shapes inside the device by just using the right knob alone, you can direct them to tilt the device up or down slightly. By adjusting the angle of the autorefractor against the face, it usually helps to bring those shapes right into the center of the vision. The Netra Autorefractor comes with a built-in confidence indicator which will track the patient's progress throughout the test. If the device detects any inconsistency in the input that it receives from the patient, you may see a small alert above one of the measurements, such as this one above the right eye. This is usually an indicator that further clarification of the controls is required. However, it may be an indicator that there could be something with the patient's physiology that is preventing them from seeing the lines clearly enough to align them and thus would require further examination. 
You can quickly and easily print the results from either your autorefractor or your lensometer readings by using the iNetra Bluetooth printer. To start, press and hold the power button for a few seconds to turn the printer on. The blue light will illuminate when the printer is turned on. Then we simply open up a reading in our phone by selecting the drop down menu, select readings, select a reading here, and then you'll see a blue printer icon appear in the upper right hand corner. To print, simply tap the icon. That easy. In order to keep your iNetra autorefractor clean, we recommend using a gentle alcohol swab around the perimeter of the face shield to help remove any surface oils or makeup which may build up on the device. To clean the lenses or apertures themselves, if there's any dust or particulate matter that happens to get in there, a gentle lens cloth to buff them out will do just fine. One of the recent updates to a Netra autorefractor contains the new 34 repetition mode. By selecting the 34 repetitions instead of the standard 18, the patient now has more measurements to perform during the test. The added measurements translate into an increase in accuracy, making the measurements that much more reliable. To engage the 34 repetition mode, simply open up the Netra app, select the drop down menu in the upper left hand corner, select app settings from the menu, and then towards the bottom, you can change the repetitions from 18 to 34. At iNetra, we periodically make updates to the applications to not only improve performance, but also to occasionally add new features. To make sure that you're running the latest version of the software, please first connect your iNetra phone to Wi-Fi, then open up either the Netra or the Netrometer apps, select the drop-down menu in the upper left-hand corner. Towards the bottom, select Check for Updates. If your app is up to date, you'll see a message letting you know that it's up to date. If an update is required, however, you'll see a, an option to take you to the Google Play Store. Simply click the link and that will take you to the Google Play Store to quickly download the latest version.